What the heck is going on guys? Welcome to your 23rd biology tutorial and in this tutorial I want to talk to you guys about the Golgi apparatus. Now Golgi is actually the dude's name who discovered this thing but in order to understand this organelle what we need to do is we need to understand the process of how materials get to this organelle. So let me go ahead and draw the diagram. Of course here's my nucleus as always, it looks like a loaf of bread. And let me draw some ER outside here. So this is going to be the rough ER. Just draw it real quick. And this will be the smooth ER. Okay, there we go. And on the rough ER, of course, we have the ribosomes. Can't forget those. Let me draw a few dots real quick. And remember that I said in the last video, whenever materials such as proteins and lipids need to go from the ER to the Golgi apparatus, they go in something called vesicles. So I'll just draw those as circles right now. So these things are vesicles. Now vesicles, just think of them like buses that carry materials like proteins and lipids. So proteins and lipids are the vesicles passengers. And what they do is they go from the ER which is right here to the Golgi apparatus. Now just draw the Golgi apparatus as green and it looks something like this. Kind of like flat pancakes and they're kind of stacked on top of each other like a delicious delicious stack of Golgi pancakes. So this is the Golgi apparatus right here and you're saying okay why would these proteins and lipids want to take the bus to the Golgi apparatus? Well, what the Golgi apparatus does is it packages and tags these proteins and lipids for their proper destination. And what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, whenever I say packages and tag something, it isn't a dude wrapping it up in, you know, a cardboard package. I mean chemically package and tag them. And whenever I say tags them for the proper destination, well, these proteins and lipids right here, they aren't just going to chill in the Golgi apparatus and just stay there forever. They're going to a bunch of different parts of the body, maybe different parts of the cell, wherever they're needed. So what the Golgi apparatus does is it basically acts as a post office and whenever it receives stuff it packages up into another vesicle and then it ships them out to the proper destination. And how this does this is if a molecule is getting shipped out what happens is the vesicle it pretty much, well let me go ahead and say it like this, once the proteins and lipids are done being tagged, what they do is they get packaged up into other vesicles. So let me go ahead and draw those. So here are more vesicles. And now these vesicles right here on the right hand side, these ones right here, are tagged for their proper destination. Now if a molecule is getting shipped out of the cell, and let me just draw the cell membrane in white right here. So here's a cell membrane. Here's your nice bilayer. So there's your cell membrane right here. If these vesicles are going out, what they do is they head up to the membrane and they're going to wait for a protein to make a channel. Remember I said that proteins do a couple different things on the um, uh, the plasma membrane. One thing they do is they make a channel so that larger molecules can pass through because smaller molecules can pass through easy but these vesicles right here are really large so what they're going to do is they're going to have to rate, wait for a protein right here to open up a channel for them to get out. Now once they are outside the cell what they can do is they can go ahead and enter the bloodstream or pretty much get delivered to the other parts of the body where they are needed. So one last time, the Golgi apparatus, in order to understand that, you need to understand the entire process of what happens. First of all, what the smooth ER does and the rough ER is it makes proteins and lipids, and when it's done making those, it gets packaged up into vesicles and moved along to the Golgi apparatus, which is right here. Now what the Golgi apparatus does is it kind of acts like a post office. It packages up those proteins and lipids and it tags them, pretty much puts a stamp on them, says, okay, you need to go here, you need to go here, you need to go to another part of the body. That's what the post office does. It tags it for its proper destination. 
and once it's done packaging it up into a new vesicle properly tagged this time it heads over to wherever it's needed if it is you know going outside into another cell it needs to wait by the cell membrane for a protein to open up a channel because these vesicles are rather large and they need a way to get out of the cell that's how it does it so again Golgi apparatus weird name but it's part of a bigger process and now that you guys understand this entire process we're ready to move away from the ER away from the vesicles away from the Golgi apparatus into something a little bit more interesting so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video